Hey everyone, this is David Verbruggen here. I'm the director of Charts by Tradeway. I uh, wanted to highlight a new feature that has come to our platform and uh, want to show you guys what this was and how to use it. It's the trade from the chart feature. Um, so this has been pretty cool. Uh, we've already had some students using it. Um, and so I'm gonna show you guys how to use that. Uh, for the example today, I'm just gonna use CLS as our our ticker um i i'm not recommending this as a buy right now it's for one we've got earnings coming up in just a couple days here so it literally is just i'm using it for the example to show you guys this feature and and that's all so here we go cls um for buying the stock uh what we used to have to do is either click on this buy button right here or click on that green B right over there, and then it would bring up an order ticket. And that works great. That's perfectly fine. If that's the way you like to do it, go for it. But there's a new option now. And uh, so I wanted to highlight for that for you guys as well. We have a new trade from the chart button right up here. And if I click on this trade button, it's going to bring all these lines up and this extra window as well. So I want to show you guys how this works. The blue line is going to be your entry point. So it's going to default automatically to this is what the price is now, right? The red line we can use to select our stop out. So in this case, if I were to um, get into this position, I might want to bring that red line down a little bit maybe just below the last pivot point. In fact, we got the 50 day coming up as a potential support as well. It's been support in the past here. So putting my stop out just below support right there. And then I can grab my green line and that's gonna be for my profit. And I may move that up a little bit, maybe right there or so. We, we could adjust that um, as needed. One could go a little bit higher um, if, if you want to. Um, so in this case, if you guys are familiar with, say, the set method, um, stop entry target, we have this built here. We have our stop, we have our entry, and we have our target. This is kind of the basic plan that we need to have uh, for every trade is, you know, we know where we're going to enter and we, we know where our profit wants to be. And, and we have to also plan our stop out. So in the little window that pops up here to the left, we've got a lot of good information. Um, uh, First of all, we're buying and it's going to set it as a limit price. And that's what the current price is right now. Uh, the profit target, when I grabbed that green line and moved it, it just populated exactly where I uh, dropped that line at $48.94. And that's showing for a, a profit of 9.31% if that stock makes that move and, and we close the position at that price level then we would make the 9.31% on this stock trade, which is pretty good. We also have this stop loss in place. And when I grabbed that line and moved it down, it brought to 42.49, showing us at a risk of about 5%. Okay, so that's an, an acceptable, reasonable risk for a stock trade. Um, down here, I can also go ahead and uh, change the quantity. So maybe I wanna go ahead and do uh, let's say 10 shares, right? We'll, we'll go 10 shares. And um, when, when I click on the estimated risk, that's going to automatically update. The estimated risk here, $22.80, that's if we go from our entry point and we actually stop out. So this is really good information. So I have a, a, a true dollar amount just right there in my face with that risk that I need to accept. I don't get to take this trade unless I accept that risk. Um, and part of accepting the risk is, well, okay, well, what's the, the reward payout? And that's going to be right next to it here. The estimated reward, if we go ahead and move up, is $41.70, as I have uh, pulled this up right now. Um, and then we have a reward to risk ratio. I think in the future that will actually say reward um, to risk ratio. Right now it just says RR. But reward to risk ratio, right now we're looking at about 1.83 to 1. Now, if you're like, man, I really I really want to have that reward to risk ratio be more 2 to 1. Okay, well, maybe we can grab the, the stop out and bring that in a little bit. Um, and even just bringing that in a little bit, just like we did. We're still below the pivot. We're still below the 50-day. Um, lowering our, our risk there. 
uh, leaving the target where it is, our rewards risk ratio is now better than two to one, right? So that's that's pretty uh, good there. Position total, this is just, you know, the 10 shares at the um, the limit price that we're entering. That's what we'd be looking to pay as the, the total position size, right? Now you can do this differently too. You can do it um, to sell, like if you're going to uh, short sell, uh, but for this example, we're just going to leave it as the buying option. You can also turn off, say, profit target or stop loss just by toggling these guys. Um, I recommend always having those, though. You know, I, I recommend just having those uh, because we always want to have a, a full plan in place. Now, when you have all your, you know, your lines just nice and visual there for I'm a visual learner, so I like these lines on the chart a lot um, and all your numbers look good here. We simply need to just click the trade button, right? Click the trade button there. And what's going to happen is it's going to bring us to an order ticket like we're already used to seeing. Um, here, we're going to have the order ticket uh, that we're used to seeing on the left. And um, just in case, I'm going to, just for this example, I'm going to change it to a, a market order just so I know that it's going to go through for the example here. Um, and then we have the exit order um, on the right here. And so this is what's called a bracket or OCO order. OCO stands for one cancels the other. Basically, uh, what that means is what's going to happen if we stop out, then it's going to cancel the profit order or vice versa. If we get that profit, then it's going to cancel the stop out order, right? Um, so uh, that's in place there for us. Um, I will always want to make sure that I put the exit order as good till cancel. And then we can go ahead and proceed. So once this all looks good, um, whether you left it as a limit order, uh, I only switch it to market because I've been talking a while. I want to make sure this order goes through for the example. Um, and then you still have your your um, exit orders in place um, as you selected. Now, I would never select stop limit. Just leave that unchecked. I'm always wanting to do a market order for my stop. I don't ever want to do a stop limit. So anyway, these are just the prices that we selected on the lines up here. Um, reviewing this trade, here we go. The top part, that's our entry portion of the trade we're going to review. Bottom part is our exits again that we just, we just covered. And again, just want to double check. I have it as GTC, good till cancel. That way it doesn't go away at the end of today. Then I can submit that order. Boom. Uh, success trade is um, successfully placed. Brings up the order status for me here. And here's our trade that we just placed, right? So we have the entry of CLS, 10 shares, and it's executed at $44.87. That's right around where uh, we were looking at before. Um so we are in this trade. You can see that also on the chart by the solid green line. You can see that is where we enter the trade. And now you are also seeing two other orders in place, and these are live, and they're going to stay live until they are triggered and then executed, right? And they are good till cancel orders. Again, I mentioned that several times. It's important. Um, here's our stop order, 4280. And that's going to be this dotted line down below here. And then for the profit, here's our limit order of 48.94. And that's going to be at the top there. Right, that's that line up top. So, so now you understand how to do this trade from the chart. It's nice and uh, visually appealing. Uh, I can clearly see where I like to place my, um, my stop out, my profit target. And then you can just grab those lines, move them. So that's really nice. Uh, so now what, what, what if we want to change this, right? We've already submitted this order. We've got those things in place. But what if we want to change the exits? Um, let's say the prof or the, uh, the, the price were to move up and now we're at about 47, 74, something like that. Maybe I don't want to leave my stop out all the way down there. Maybe I want to kind of trail it up along uh, with the price. So we can go ahead and make changes to this as well. Uh, simply cancel these live orders you can just click the one order successfully canceled and it's going to cancel both of those exit orders right now it, it doesn't cancel the the executed um 
uh, order that we've already put in. We, we can't go ahead back in time and just cancel the executed order. So we still own the position. In fact, if I go to positions, you can see, here we go, CLS, 10 shares. Um, that was my entry price. Current price, it's gone down to penny now, no big deal. Um, but that's how we cancel those exit orders. And then if I want to put them in again, uh, I simply make another closing order. So there's the closing order. I'm going to get some information on the left of my current position. Again, it's down a few pennies, no big deal. Um, and then the exit order, um, I'm just going to place this in how I would have done in the past. So I may select a bracket OCO order here, um, and then I can go ahead and just select my uh, prices. So let's say I want to move my stop up a little bit. I'll say, oh, I mean, the price hasn't moved up yet. So you're going to kind of have to work with me on that. But let's say 43.80. At this point, I'm just typing the numbers in. I can't, can't grab these lines anymore. Uh, and then we can still have our, our profit target at about, what was about 40, we'll call it 49 even. That was, it was pretty close to, to where that was. So 49 even. So I've got my profit target 49. I've got my um, stop at 48. Uh, again, need to change this till to good till cancel. That's going to be important. So change that to good till cancel. This is an OCO order again that's that's put in place. That's that's my favorite way of doing it. Hit review, hit submit, and there we go. And you can see these lines change a little bit. The profit's right about the same place that uh, the stop loss came up a little bit because I brought that up. And here we go again on the uh, order status. I can still see my executed order for getting into these 10 shares. I can see the previous um, OCO order that I had now canceled and then the new OCO order that is now live waiting to be triggered. Um, so that's how this works, guys. It's a, it's a great feature. Um, again, you, you simply just click on the trade button up here and, uh, oh, that's cool. You know, we, we can, we can do different things there, um, and, and make whatever adjustments we need. Now, something I, I found interesting here with this green line, uh, if we were to simply just put in, let's say, let's say I want a 25% profit. Oh my goodness, the green line went away. Well, it didn't go away. It's just above the chart. So you can click on this arrow up here and it kind of brings the price down in a way um, so that we can see more uh, information. And there is your green button. It didn't go away. It was just hidden because we put it so far out there. So play with it, paper trade it before using it for real. Um, this really is a great feature. Uh, many of you guys are probably already thinking, this is awesome. Can we do this with options? The answer is no, at least not yet. I hope that feature does come through. There are many additional complexities with trying to do this with options because we don't just simply enter uh, like we would with a stock, we have an entire options chain that we have to go through. So how do we incorporate an options chain on the chart so that we can trade options from the chart? It gets more complicated. So um, the developers haven't said no to that. It's just not yet. We need to look and see if that's going to be a possibility. Um, so with that, uh, play with it. Let us know if you got any questions on the trade from the chart feature. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.